But the way that uh, De La Cruz has been swinging the bat, was there any thought there to uh, to walking him with the base open? No, not not initially. Uh, you know, we like we always like Diaz. You always trust your closer right there um, in a matchup, righty righty. You know, Diaz stuff uh, always plays well. Uh, it's not a guy that gets hit hit around. The one thing that gets Diaz in trouble is his command. Uh, we've seen that. So yeah, that's why we went with the matchup and we trusted Diaz to uh, to get the Cruz in that situation. And what went into the decision in the top of the inning to pinch hit Mazika for McCann? Is the matchup once again? Um, Bender is the guy that has a sinker slider uh, mix, and uh, it's really tough for right-handed hitters. So you guys saw the the bias up bat, and um, Guillermo's up back can take a little bit away of the slider, where he's ha- he's going to have to be probably a little bit more perfect pra- uh, placing it versus a, versus a lefty, and that's that's what we we went with the uh, with the pinch hit decision there, just to bring the lefty bat in the two outs and. Um, thinking that it was going to be a little tougher for him and Masika put the ball in play. So even though Masika really has no track record really as a major league hitter, his handedness there, what, one out over Davis's ability? It's just a matchup lefty versus righty against ben, Bender stuff. That's gotcha. what we're in that situation. And, and what is your desire to pinch it for McCann to begin with, say, about his season? Yeah, it's it's, it's not easy to do. Right, but at the moment and in, in the situation of the game, like we we have that left-handed bat off the bench, and uh, you know it's something we can use because Bender's not an easy pitcher to hit against as a right-handed hitter. So that's why we, you know we went with that situation with the two outs and uh, just to see if the guys um, can get can get a knock and drive a ball in and give have a better chance with the lefty versus righty with. His sinker slider mix, which is really, really tough against right-handed batters. And what did Sandy do so well against you guys that that kind of flustered your offense? Yeah, everything. He uh, he was throwing strikes, uh, a little different than his outing at home uh, last week when we saw him. He's throwing strikes with all his pitches, and he had a really good forcing fastball later in the game. Not only the sinker changeup slider mix that he can have, but the forcing at the top of the zone was. Uh, was tough for batters. He got a bunch of swings and misses, and um, that's why that's that's why he was able to cruise. And, and he was sinker baller earlier, and then he was the forcing guy later, as he got a bunch of strikeouts with that pitch. So, um, you know, just a guys that has a, a guy that has special st- uh, stuff. One of the best pitchers in the game, I think. And uh, he he was one of those nights where he was really really tough. How many more of these sort of gut punch losses can you guys afford to take right now? Given the circumstances and standings, et cetera. Yeah, that's a that's a tough question to answer. I mean, we just we got to recover. We got to bounce back quick after a tough loss like this. Um, yeah, we got a game to play tomorrow. We have some games to play left, so we just we just got to recover. Um, we can't hang our heads and uh, we can't look back. Um, you know, we we've, we've had some chances tonight uh, once again, and uh, we didn't come up with the win. And you know, that's it. It was a tough one, but we got to recover quick. So to look good too far ahead and to think uh, that way or ask uh, ourselves a question is just, I think it's wrong for me right now. Uh, I think we just got to bounce back again and come come back tomorrow and play our our best baseball. 